Hope you are ready. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, uh, we finished last week's uh, work, right? So I told you, right? If you have any doubts, we could discuss today, right? Uh, any issues? Uh, hello. Now I'm going to write a screen share. Give me a few seconds. Right. Right. Uh, now, last week we discussed uh, schools of thought. We started with uh, structuralism, right? Uh, so you did not have any issues with that. So I've come to some of the areas where I had some issues. So thereafter we can discuss the issues and go to the, the today's uh, lesson. Right. Uh, Right now, structuralism, you know, right, uh, started by Wilhelm Mundt, right, and hope you don't have any issue with this. Uh, then we came to functionalism, started by William, uh, William James. Then uh, Gestalt theory, uh, before that, uh, behaviorism uh, by J uh, James P. Watson. Then uh, behaviorism uh, followed by uh, Gestalt theory. There are three personalities. Then uh, one of the most important areas called psychoanalysis by Sigmund Freud, right? A Viennese physician and under Sigmund Freud's uh, psychoanalysis. We have uh, discussed uh, three, uh, two separate areas, uh, which are divided into three, uh, three main categories. Uh, uh, Sigmund Freud divides mind into three, uh, three layers called conscious, unconscious, and subconscious. Right. So he says uh, the conscious is about ten percent. Then 
uh, you get the subconscious, the middle part, right? And you get uh, the down part called unconscious. So unconscious is the uh, forms the uh, greatest uh, volume of the mind. So conscious uh, conscious means uh, the thoughts and uh, emotions, uh, thoughts, uh, thoughts and ideas or images that are present to us when we are in uh, when we are sensible. So unconscious are the things which are come out when we are not really sensible. Sometimes like in dreams when we are asleep and all that. So uh, subconscious, not unconscious. Unconscious, right? It's hidden, right? But it tries to come out, right? Uh, whenever possible. Uh, so it is uh, the, the, that unconscious is known as the hidden store of our uh, knowledge because it contains a lot of things. Now, as I explained last week, conscious knowledge is what we are aware of. Subconscious knowledge is what whatever we have learned through experience, and it is there, but uh, it is not uh, readily available. It is not available, but it is readily available. I mean, whenever you want, you can uh, uh, very quickly, you can uh, call, uh, you can uh, uh, have access to that knowledge. So that is what we call subconscious. Unconscious is uh, the store of knowledge. I mean, all the knowledge that we have, right? Uh, not only as a human being, but also as a uh, member of the generation, right? And not only our experiences, but uh, but the experiences of our forefathers and the others, all the other other members of the society, and all these things are there in unconscious, right? Uh, so th that is how Sigmund Freud uh, divided those three layers. Then he uh, explained it better, saying, given three forms, uh, given three other names called it, ego, and super ego. Now he says, uh, it is the uncontrollable uh, emotions in us, right? Well, that means uh, he called them the animal, uh, they are, he compares it to an animal behavior in us, right? All our animal behavior patterns are there in it, right? So it has, uh, it is, uh, it has no conscience or it, 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 uh, uh, the, it wants only to satisfy itself, right? Only it is very, uh, we call it the, the uh, kind of uh, selfish desires, right? And so it wants only to satisfy its needs. This, uh, wah, 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 uh, this uh, drives or the desires in it are basically uh, sexually related. So what it wants to do is to satisfy its requirements so in order to do it it would uh, it would uh, tr uh, try to do anything but there are two other things which should control these things one is called ego the other is called super ego super ego is completely the opposite to the it it is it is the moral side in us which is developed yeah. in, from the age of grade five from the age of five so this thing controls us. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can hear now. So, so the function of the super ego is to control all the uncontrollable emotions uh, or the unethical emotional uh, discharge of it. So, super ego tries to control us. It uh, so the super now it is uh, uh, they are in us from our birth. All these are uh, right. It is they are from our birth, but super ego develops only after five years. From five years onwards, only super ego develops. So the function of the super ego is to suppress most of the uncontrollable desires of uh, it and uh, make make uh, and to make the human beings. Right, not animals. Otherwise, we would also behave in the same manner like animals. But we know how to control ourselves, and we know where to do things and where not to do things. Likewise, so all these things are all these things are decided by uh, by ego, uh, super ego. 
then you might uh, write then we uh, we discussed about the role of ego what ego does is it balances between super ego and the it so uh, now as i told you it wants to satisfy all its needs it doesn't know it doesn't know any law it doesn't care any any other thing or any concern it just wants to satisfy its needs right sexual desires super ego what it does is all blocking part it doesn't allow any of these bad uh, i mean uh, uncontrol uncontrollable emotions to be discharged right so the job of the ego is to consider what is appropriate and let those things to be discharged so it is playing a more of a controlling and moderating role right so it's our ego which allows right what uh, we, we, ego is the thing which decide as to what should be done and what shouldn't be done right. now three layers right now again it has no control right is full of wild desires these are sexual desires right and it is all it, it always want to satisfy its uh, desires right this is like an i mean it is like animal behavior right animals right whenever they are hungry they want to eat when they when they were, whenever they have a sex urge or something they want to satisfy it so they don't mind where the what the place is the where the place is so what the situation is and all that but we human beings don't do uh, don't behave like that because our super ego controls no? it says ah, although you have urge like this you can't do it this is a public place or right this is not appropriate or the, this is not the best uh, this is not the way to do it so i do it likewise right uh, it controls you you controls you and it doesn't allow you to discharge your right uncontrollable energies then the role of the ego is to balance between these things right uh, so uh, balancing in the sense right now suppose right now now the it wants to satisfy its sexual need right now super ego says don't do it like this then what the what the ego does is it uh, guides you to if you want to do a uh, perform that act there is a certain way of doing it right i mean uh, right you can't do it in public and you have to find a secret place likewise right now all these uh, moderating and uh, controlling parties done by ego so ego does the, does the balancing part between it then super ego right so uh, this is how uh sigmund freud explained explained our mind and sigmund freud right has said right most of these ideas in our id right uh, they are there but right now we can't keep them controlled right although it is not coming out it is there but it is always trying to come out all these our wild emotions and energies or i mean wild desires right so when we try to suppress them for a long time what will happen right sometimes we face some psychological issues and some other issues so most of the people who are having issues like this are the people who have controlled their sexual desires or other these strong drives for a very for a very long period so that right due to their inability to due to the inability of this uh, uh, those strong feelings to suppress themselves they emerge in the form of diff in different forms it uh, it uh, emerge as a psychological disease i mean a psychological uh, what we call this psychological disease or disorder likewise right or uh, various so it comes out in various forms sometimes right they are uh visible in dreams right sometimes so you show a kind of a uh, different behavior right that is all due to that in, uh, due to the inability to control those things for a long time that is why actually the role of the ego is to allow some of the id uh, some of the id's uh, wild desires to uh, to be uh, discharged so uh, what the ego does it Uh, ego, what the ego does it does is it finds a, a suitable time or a situation for those things to be discharged, right? So this is uh, right. So uh, now Sigmund Freud had said, right? Most of the people are having some uh, psychological issues because of this. I'm trying to control it unnecessarily. Right? So 
if a person is suffering from a disease, right? So it is the job of the psychologist to find out as to what. To, hello. As to, hello. As to what problem, what kind of emotions are associated with this issue, right? And uh, related to his presence and find solutions. So uh, this is what we discussed last week. Right now, some of you told me that you need me to, uh, you need me to explain uh, a bit in Sinhalese as well. So I will explain these things uh, from uh, in Sinhalese now. You take Excuse about. Excuse me, sir. Right. Okay. So can I take one minute from you? Yes, Suta. Yes, sir. This is Sarani. Sir, uh, I have one confusion. Sir, when I am read uh, about this. Uh, that Friday and that psychoanalysis, yeah. I came across with the word that uh, he has divided the human mind in a three parts like conscious, subconscious, and the unconscious. Huh? And uh, like e ego and the super ego, he has mentioned as like a personality, like, like I mean, like the, he has divided human personality into three parts either. I don't know whether I'm correct or wrong, sir. Uh -huh. I just want to what, did you, what did you, what did you find out? Uh, so that uh, that uh, conscious, subconscious, and the preconscious. That is... Give me a second, right? I mean, uh, uh, when I have to attend to a small thing, and I'll come back to you. All right. Yeah, it's uh, uh, now I told you right now. What is now uh, uh, what you said is uh, yes. can you hear me? Yes, Hello? I can. Hear. Yeah. Yes. And so, uh, what did you read? You tell me first. No, sir. Uh -huh. I, found, I found that Sigmund Freud has divided human mind into three parts that is, uh -huh. conscious, subconscious, and the unconscious. That is uh -huh. clear, sir. Then, after yeah. that, for the id, ego and the super ego. He has divided the human personality into three parts. I don't know whether it's old uh, definition or something. Uh, it, am I correct, sir? If I yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 I, I will read out what it is for give me a second right okay. now. So yeah, what you say is right right. It, it, this is how he is done it right. I'll uh, explain it one a little bit more. Now, now uh, this is about it. Huh? I read out, you can see it right now. Concept of uh, conscious, subconscious, and uh, unconscious. If we were to compare the human mind to an ocean pond or a river, then the upper layer of the surface would uh, represent the conscious mind. The main uh, bit would be identified with the subconscious and the bottom uh, would be the un uh, unconscious. The conscious mind lies just above the surface of the water like tip of an iceberg and occupies only one tenth of our total psychomental life. Uh, the ideas, thoughts, and images that we are aware of at any moment of our mental life are said to lie within this upper layer of our mind. Just beneath the conscious layer lies the subconscious mind. This middle portion of our mind stores all types of information just beneath the surface of awareness, dormant or untapped, which can be uh, easily brought to the level of consciousness at a, at a moment's notice, whenever required. This is the middle bed or layer of the human mind. They are like all the experience or knowledge which we have gained or learned by, uh, learned by an individual through various types of experience or training. Right. Then, right below the subconscious mind lies the unconscious. Lies the unconscious, the most important part of our mind. It is related to the vast 
part of our mental life which is hidden and usually inaccessible to the conscious. It contains all the repressed wishes, desires, feelings, drives and motives, many of which relate to sex and aggression. All these uh, repressed and forbidden desires and ideas are not designed to lie permanently in the unconscious. They usually strive and agitate to come, come to the subconscious or the conscious layers of the mind, sometimes in disguised forms, uh, in dreams and in reveries. The hidden treasure of mental life belonging to the unconscious is thus responsible for most of our behavior. And in fact, as uh, Freud asserts, what, what we do and how we behave is always determined by the forces residing in our unconscious and not by the choices of our conscious mind. Not to speak of normal behavior, the causes of forms of abnormal behavior and mental illnesses are also decided by what is hidden in the unconscious. And therefore, the task of the psychotherapist consists of a search for the relevant in the unconscious and the bringing it up into the conscious, right? This is about the conscious, unconscious, and subconscious, right? Are these things clear to you? Hello? Yes, sir. that ah. is clear. Oh, okay, so uh, so uh, conscious means whatever the thoughts and the other ideas that are available to us when we are in the good sense. Again, see here in the quarter, a bit of see here, the end of quarter, the apita kalpana in the devil, or with the end of the devil, a pimi, a bit of kata, a pe manasatena, may see you deva, a mataketi and a deva ticket, the my conscious skill again. Hurry, subconscious skill again, subconscious skill again, a pip give the kale pull out, a pig again again, then again, experience kalati and a deva, may was some hard way out. May Mohuti Mataki Nati Unata, Tagala Mataka Ganda Pulwa. Tagala Mataka Ganda Pulan, Nigata de Valima Mataka Gana, may me, 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 Mangitan in the Mangwagi or Prashatina, a take of a head can't shoot a camar, you can make any. Hurry. Then get only unconscious to get the animal of the can. Is it in a show like repressed thing like Akamati Matakan Wagadeva? Oh, I can eke gooda, you know, in America Hanganapo. Below the subconscious mind lies the unconscious, the most important part of our mind. Make a good bow weather got killed. It hmm. is related to the vast. Part of our mental life which is hidden and usually inaccessible to the uh, conscious. This uh, is the vast part of our mental life. We will be able to do this. 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 We will be it can make it in a it contains all the repressed wishes, uh, desires, feelings, drives, and motives. Mother appear a pile of caraganathian of comatica make it a repressed caraganathian, control caraganathian, metano comatiano. May when good a keva may sex or to some mother. All these repressed and forbidden desires and ideas are not destined to be like permanently in the unconscious. I mean, make it a my pradana day. Make a hamadama may him a can away may hang gilatian. Nevelu Kati and Nikoya will have a little in the Balamon. Eh, in the Mamami, they usually strive and agitate to come. Strive can have William try out Sakrano, agitate kill again, Kalabagan in no Sakrano, Eliot. May Elite in a Kotama Samara will have a he in a willing, Emnatanga Samara, Punchi Pisuagi, they will let the cutting. May Elite in a while, your hurry to control Kragana, Veruna, Saha, Evata discharge in Avasha permanent discharge in it, Nuduna. Think you know this hidden treasure of mental life belonging to the unconscious is the uh, yeah. me api uh, api atanam api karana kena deval world api hasiri matter me goda deval world of balapan and kakira again me api samani pavc and away conscious can pavc and pavc and away emanatan api yanagat deval with the way goda kila at a balapan and mukad me api unconscious security and a forces kill again a main burner for napa make you again. The hidden treasure of mental life belonging to the unconscious is thus responsible for most of our behavior. And in fact, as Freud asserts, what we do and how we behave is always determined by the forces residing in our unconscious and not by the choices of our conscious mind. Behaviors, 
තීරණය වෙන්නේ මොකක් මතද මේ සබ් කොන්ෂස් එකේ හැංගිලා තියෙන දේවල් මත. ඒ හින්දා තමයි සමහර වෙලාවට මොනවා හරි ගැටලුවක් තමයි මානසික ගැටලුවක් මේ වගේ දෙයක් තියෙනවා නම් මානසික බෞද්ධ චිකිත්සකවරයාගේ රාජකාරිය තමයි මේ සබ් කොන්ෂස් අන් කොන්ෂස් එකේ මේ මොන පාට් එකෙන් ද මොන මේ ෆීලිංග්ස් හින්දද මෙයාට මේක ඉන්නේ කියලා ඔයලා හොයාගෙන ඒකට අදාළ ඒක රිලීස් කරන්න අවශ්‍ය විදිහට कॉन्शियस से का वे कहने पीएवीसी है तो ये कारण संबंध कर लिए बोला ही था ये रोग ये प्रतिकार करने का तमाम सामान्य करा है दें मैं काफी करना आरा हिप्टोनिसम के लगी नहीं वाली दें बोला के लावड़ा पी के ये कोहम देख का देना गाने यार कि बगैर लोग मुकाद के लाव देना गाने बहुत मसाला तक क्रमियात किए सैकोलॉजिस्ट मुखद करे प्रश्न पेर आवश्यक प्रतिकार करमुत पशुकालीन मे इंट्रोस्पेक्षन मेथड असार्थक विश्वास अडवांस प्रकाश नो कर उदाहरण पर्सनलिटी फिगेट विस्तृत मानस राइट दें बांडने को तो मेक बांडने प्रारंभ में मेक बांडने को एक्सप्लेनिंग डी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ़ डी साइक ये मन अत्ता साइक के लक्ष्य ने आप क्यों आने माइंड के लक्ष्य अरे अरे स्ट्रक्चर क्या ने मानस से सुबह हवे विस्तर कराने तमाई मैं आमे क मैं मैं संकल्प तूना विस्तर कराने हेलो उडमोटीनो उड़म कोटर से ईगो एक अपने नला दिए ना ये तो गोड़ा लोकु विशाल प्रदेश एक ईट के ने का अपने नला दिए ना मंगवाट में नोट कौन ना दान ना मदान ना ना इतना इतना मदान ना तो एक अपने में हम की ना the it represents the animal in man and is seated in the unconscious it is the uh, uh, source of mental energy and all instinctive energy of the individual it is present at birth and has the qualities of a spoiled child 
it must get what it wants when it wants it this way it is quite selfish and unethical it knows no uh, reality follows no rules and considers only the satisfaction of its own needs and drives it operates according to the pleasure principle the pursuit of pleasure and the avoidance of pain and in practice it does so by attempting to discharge the energy of the psyche quite irresponsibly then there another word it can again given a definition එක මම වාඩ කියපු එකත් එක්කලා සමානයි නේද මොකද it it කියලා කියන්නේ දැන් මෙයා මේ මේ මනස ආපහු අර අරකත් දැන් ඇත්තටම මෙතන ෆ්‍රොයිඩ් කරන්නේ මනස ආකාර දෙකකට විස්තර කරනවා දැන් පළවෙනි ආකාරයේදී මොකද කියන්නේ ආ එක වෙදන කොන්ෂස් අන්කොන්ෂස් ආ සබ් කොන්ෂස් කියලා ඒක මෙයා තවත් ආකාරයකට විස්තර කරනවා it ego and super ego කියලා හරි එතකොට प्रकाश कर ඊළඟට බලන්න ඊළඟට අපි මම පොඩක් තමයි චුට්ටක් මේ පැහැදිලි කරන්න however for the sake of welfare of the individual and of society the blind it cannot be allowed to discharge the useful psychic energy in such a thoughtless and irresponsible ways and so two other wings of the human psychic system namely the ego and the super ego come into play the super ego is the direct antithesis of id uh, uh, it and represent the ethical and moral aspect of the psyche it usually develops in the child at the age of 5 and is referred to as conscious api conscious kela kiyanneth menna mekata thamai mokada me super ego ekata or the judgment from within like it 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 also is seated in the unconscious ame kata thiyenne unconscious ekelu but is not governed by man's instinctive tendencies so primitive drives it is idealistic in nature and perfection is its goal rather than pleasure seeking or destruction eto kota the ego developed out of id and uh, uh, ego ek develop wenne mokin the id eken and acts as an intermediary between three sets of forces the instinctive uh, uh, irrational demands of id realities of the external world and the ethical moral demands of the super ego eto kota me id ke job eka thamai mokadda මේ තුන කන්ට්‍රෝල් කරන එක මොනවද ෆෝසස් තුන එකක් තමයි ඉන්ස්ටින්ක්ටිව් ඉරේෂනල් ඩිමාන්ඩ්ස් ඔය කියන්නේ තියෙන්නේ ඉන්ස්ටින්ක්ටිව් ඒ කියන්නේ යාගේ හැඟීම් වලින් එන ඉරේෂනල් කියන්නේ ඒක තාර්කික අපිට සාධාරණ කරන්න කරන්න බැරි ඩිමාන්ඩ්ස් තමයි ඉද්ගෙ තියෙන්නේ හරි ඩ්‍රයිව්ස් තියෙන්නේ ඊළඟට ඊළඟට රියලිටිස් ඔෆ් දි එක්ස්ටර්නල් වර්ල්ඩ් ඇන්ඩ් ද ආ ඊළඟට ඊළඟට තියෙන තව එකක් මොකද්ද මේ ඇත්තටම සමාජයේ පවේ බාහිර සමාජයේ පවතින සත්‍ය තත්වයන් තියෙනවා මෙන්න මේ අවශ්‍යතා තියෙනවා ඒ අවශ්‍යතාව සහ ඊළඟට ethical and moral demands of the super super ego එක තියෙනවා මොකද අර controlling power controlling controlling principles ටික ඊට ගියේ තියෙනවා animal ඕනේ මේකත් එළියට දා හැංගි වෙලෙම හැංගීම් සර් අපි කියනවා මොකද feelings අපි කියන හැංගීම් පිනවීම ඔය දෙක ඔය දෙකම ඔය දෙකමටම නැතුව මොකද කරන්නේ යම් ප්‍රමාණයකට මේ හැඟීම් ඔල්ට එලියට එන්න ඉඩ දෙනවා පවතින ලෝකයේ අවශ්‍යතාවයට අනුව අන්න ඒ ජොබ් එක තමයි කවුද කරන්නේ ඊගෝ මම බලන්න ඊගෝ කරන මෙහෙම ඒ ඊගෝ ඩෙවලොප් අවුට් ඔෆ් ඊට් ඇන්ඩ් ඇක්ට්ස් ඇස් අ ඉන්ටර්මීඩියරි බිට්වීන් 3 සෙට්ස් ඔෆ් ෆෝසස් මොනවද මේ 3 සෙට්ස් ඔෆ් ෆෝසස් ද ඉන්ස්ටික්ටිව් ඉරේෂනල් ඩිමාන්ඩ්ස් ඔෆ් ඊ realities of the external world and the ethical moral demands of the super ego it is extended to all three layers of mind for exercising its balancing role etoda meya karanne me layer layers tunatama meya dikkenawa mona kawuda ego mona karanne me balancing role eka karanna e kenne mokad eka to control the it in terms of reality and to appease the super ego etoda kenne super ego ekak satisfy karanawa e wageema 
ඉඩකත් කන්ට්‍රෝල් කරනවා හැබැයි අවශ්‍ය දේවල් වලට ලියට යන්න දෙනවා අවශ්‍ය විදිහ දැන් අපිට යම් යම් හැංගීම යම් යම් දේවල් අපිට කොච්චර කන්ට්‍රෝල් කරලත් අපි ඒවා සැටිස්ෆයි කරගන්න මොකක් ඉන්න අද ඊගෝ එක තමයි මේ බැලන්ස් එක කරන්නේ ඒ හිතලා දැන් පැහැදිලිද මේ කතන්දරේ ඔව් සර් එතකොට දැන් ඕක දැන් දැන් අපි කියවන්නේ සයිට් කියන එක තමයි මේ ආර කොටස් තුනකට දැන් සයිට් කියලා කියන්නේ සෝල් කියන එක සෝල් කියන එක ගත්තාම පර්සනාලිටි එකත් එක්කලත් අදාළ වෙන්න පුළුවන් නේ සෝල් සෝල් කියන්නේ ආත්මය වගේනේ නේද එතකොට පර්සනාලිටි ඔව් එතකොට ඒකත් එක්ක අපේ ඒ පර්සනාලිටි එකට මේක සම්බන්ධ වෙන්න පුළුවන් මේක පර්සනාලිටි එකම අර විදිහට බෙදුවයි කියලා නම් මම අහලා නැහැ හරි හැබැයි පර්සනාලිටි එකත් අපේ සෝල් එක මේ අපේ අන්කොන්ෂස් එකේ තියෙනවා ගොඩක් දේවල් අපේ පර්සනාලිටි එක එනවනේ හරි ඒ හින්දා ඒක පර්සනාලිටි එකට සම්බන්ධයි පර්සනාලිටි එකම ඩිවයිඩ් කරලා කියලා නම් මම දැකලා නැහැ හරි පැහැදිලිද පුතේ ඔව් සර් තැන්කියු සර් දැන් පැහැදිලිද දැන් මේ කාරණා තුන පැහැදිලිද දැන් තේරුණා සර් ඒ කියන්නේ ෆර්දර් මේ ලයික් ෆර්දර් ඉන්ෆෝමේෂන් එකක් විදිහට තමයි කියන්නේ ඔව් අර අර කන්සෙප්ට් අර කන්සෙප්ට් එකම තවත් එයා විස්තර කරලා තියෙනවා තවත් ආකාර තුනකට බෙදලා හරි එහෙම එකක් නැවි තියෙනවා මගේ නෝට් එකේ හිතන එක පැහැදිලි ඇති මම ඒක ඔය ඔක්කොම මම ඉන්ක්ලූඩ් කරලා තිබ්බා මගේ මේ ප්‍රසන්ටේෂන් එකේ තියෙනවා වල කියවන නම් කියවන නම් හරි ඊළඟට මේ ඒපෙක්ස් කවුද අපේ යුනිවර්සිටි එකෙන් ඔය නෝට් එක තියෙනවා නේ ඒකත් කියවන්න හරි මම හිතන මේ නෝට් එකටත් වඩා මම ඔයාලට ඒ වන එක සමහර දේවල් ගොඩක් කරලා පැහැදිලි ඇති මොකද මම බල්ලම මම තෝරලා ඒවල තියෙන ඒවා හරි දැන් අර මේ නෝට් එකත් කියවද්දි සමහර තැන් වලදි මට හොඳයි ගොඩක් හොඳ හොඳ නෝට් එකක් තියෙනවා සමහර දේවල් ළමයින්ට තේරුම් ගන්න අමාරුයි කියලා මට හිතුණා තනියෙන් කියවද්දි නේද නෝට් එක පොඩ්ඩක් ඔව් ඉතින් ඒ හින්දා මම ඒක තව සරල කරලා තියෙන්නේ දැන් දැන් අපි ප්‍රශ්න පත්‍ර වලට එනවා නම් අපි මේක කරන්නේ මෙන්න මේ අපි ඔය උගන්න නේ වෙන තමයි හරිද ඒ හින්දා ගැටලුවක් කරගන්න එපා මොකද පේපර්ස් හදන්නෙත් අපි මයි හරි එතකොට උගන්වන දේ ආශ්‍රයෙන් තමයි අපි ඔයාලගෙන් ප්‍රශ්න පත්‍ර ප්‍රශ්න අහන්න පැහැදිලිද ඔව් සර් රයිට් නමුත් කොයි ආකාරයෙන්වත් අර අර ටිකම තමයි මේක කරලා තියෙන්නේ හරි ඊට වඩා සරලව මේක දීලා තියෙනවා හරි දැන් අර බරෑරුම් ආර්කි තියෙන ගැඹුරු වචන අවශ්‍ය නැහැ මේ සරල වචන වලින් මේ තියෙන දෙයින් තේරුම් අරගෙන උත්තර දුන්න නම් එච්චරයි පැහැදිලිද හරි ඔව් සර් ඔව් එතකොට දැන් අපි කතා කළේ ඇත්තටම දැන් අපි මේ දක්වා අපි කතා කරලා තියෙන්නේ අපි ෆන්ක්ෂන්ස් කතා කතා කළා නේද සයිකොලොජි අවශ්‍ය වෙන්නේ කියන එක අපි කතා කළා නේද ෆන්ක්ෂන්ස් ඔෆ් සයිකොලොජි කතා කළා නේ සයිකොලොජි වල ඒක තියෙන අපි මම හිතන්නේ ගිය සතියේ ඔක්කොම කතා කළා මම දැන් ස්කූල්ස් ඔෆ් තෝට් එක අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම කතා කළා මට මතකයි ඩෙෆිනිෂන්ස් කතා කළා මේවා බෙදෙන විදිය කතා කළා ෆියෝ සයිකොලොජි ඇප්ලයිඩ් සයිකොලොජි කියලා ඊළඟට ඇප්ලයිඩ් සයිකොලොජි බෙදෙන විදිය අපි කතා කළා এডියුකේෂන් සයිකොලොජි වලට ආවා এডියුකේෂන් සයිකොලොජි කියලා කියන්නේ මොකද කියලා ඩිෆයින් කරා ඊළඟට ඊට පස්සේ এডියුකේෂන් සයිකොලොජි ඇයි ඇයි අපිට වැදගත් වෙන්නේ කියන එක අපි කතා කළා නේද කතා කළාද නැද්ද හලෝ Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Did we discuss? Yes, sir. We did. Yeah. Oh, we did. Yes, sir. Okay. We have. Ah, we have. No right. Then also we decide. We discuss right. Uh, limits or what we call the scope of psychology also, right? So under that we uh, we discuss right uh, the learner learning material, uh, learning situations, things like that. उत्तर ඒ තමයි ඒක ස්කෝප් එකේ ඉට් කම්ස් අන්ඩර් ස්කෝප් ස්කෝප් කියලා කියන්නේ ලිමිට්ස් රයිට් එතකොට රයිට් ඊළඟට ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ස් ඔෆ් සයිකොලොජි এডියුකේෂන් සයිකොලොජි අපි කතා කරමු මේවා ප්‍රශ්න වලට එනවා අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම මේවා ඩෙෆිනිෂන් එනවා සයිකොලොජි ඇයි ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් වෙන්නේ ආ මොකටද ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් වෙන්නේ කියලා අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම අහනවා එතකොට කාටද ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් වෙන්නේ ඇයි මොකටද ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් වෙන්නේ කොට ආද ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ස් වයි වයි සයිකොලොජි ඉස් ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ට් මොකද්ද එතකොට මොනවාද අපිට කියන්න පුළුවන් ටු ඉඩෙන්ටිෆයි ද ලර්න නේද මොන කරන්නද අපි කතා කළා මම හිතන්නේ මේවා to identify the learner 
to uh, to identify uh, the teacher himself to understand his saw his system of uh, strengths and weaknesses to uh, to uh, to understand the teaching learning process right and and also to, to prepare uh, learning experiences means subject matter like uh, for curriculum development likewise we have discussed how the net yes we did it right uh, so uh, uh, if you have any doubts right now i have or uh, by now i have shared about uh, three or four slideshows right hope that you have all all, all these right so uh, read them uh, several times right and make a short note right i want you to make a short note from i mean now itself right now this is a theory i have which i am really using in my classes right ever since i was a language teacher even even before it become even before becoming becoming a lecturer i was a language teacher from that time onwards right what i am doing is right i always make my students right um, uh, write summaries of what i teach right so in addition to teaching english i used to teach some other subjects as well like uh, right uh, history and some science subjects uh, right because um, in various schools we were given various uh, subjects based on our uh, capability and their uh, requirements right so i have taught all these things like right? so whenever i teach these uh, content uh, uh, content based subjects right what i did was i made my students uh, make summaries because make uh, you, uh, if you make a summary right you need not to right bother about studying the whole i mean the or the whole the whole set of notes right because the summary is quite enough for you to recall right what you have already uh, learned right so i want you to make a summary so how to make the summary do you know how to make a summary hello hello you are not answering me yeah you can give your professional ideas so it's better for us like benefit ah. will, it will benefit us so what you have to do is this right now uh, now you read whatever right uh, you have to study right read for about say 20 minutes right so you have to uh, select a chunk which can be read in 20 minutes you you, you don't uh, select a large area maybe one page right this is the professional way of doing it you may you uh, take about one page read it uh, two or three times read it two or three times so within 20 minutes right you should be able to read those things then within the next 10 minutes make a very nice and beautiful short note right summarizing what you read into one third summarizing what you read into one third or less right but you have to include all the important points and write it very nicely now we have a habit of right now when we are writing a short notes or another we, we we happen to do it in a haphazard manner don't do like that you have to give due concern for this right write it very neatly and beautifully right so that right now may always make it pr uh, presentable why you are the person who is going to read it so next time you uh, you try to read it it should be readable and it should be pleasant that is why you have to use nice handwriting write in uh, write in uh, write in nice ink right maybe even you can use some colored inks and all that make it very beautiful because this is what you are going to study right so what you do is you select uh a page, one page something roughly about one page within 20 minutes you read two three times then uh right from your memory you write down the short note right so within 30 minutes you can complete one page right then go to the then uh, uh, take a right take a uh, take a break about 10 minutes or 10, uh, 10, about 10 minutes and then go to the next page likewise so this is the way to study because it has been found out right uh, the maximum we can concentrate on reading 
is 20 minutes. That is why I, I told you, read it only 20 minutes because more beyond that, you can't concentrate, right? So that is uh, right. This is what happens when you keep on studying. Yeah, you have a habit of reading the three, four pages or more than that. So what happens is when you keep on reading, right? You feel lazy, you feel tired, Sometimes you feel sleepy and uh, right, you get bored. Right? So you can avoid it by doing this. But what you do is you select a small area right, and read it uh, uh, three times within 20 minutes and write, an, uh, write a very nice short note, keep it, then take a small break, then switch to a different subject, not the same kind of subjects. right? So the difficulty levels of the subjects also you have to uh, consider. right? So likewise, uh, if you do this every day after doing the right time, mean, now suppose I do the lecture for two hours, then you have the presentations, use the presentations, right? Make a nice, uh, make a nice uh, short note, right? Because this is uh, what you are going to read before you go to the exam, right? Now today's work, right? You will have to, now I, I spent two hours to explain you, then you will have to spend about another two hours or something uh, to uh, read it and uh, make a short note. Once you have done it, right, you will be very sure that because I am very sure that you know all the stuff that I have taught you, right. So you try this uh, next week and uh, let me know whether I am uh, uh, right or wrong, right. Then another mummy order here, Peter. Hello. Oh, make a me, make a piece of my name. उनमें विभाग मनोविद्यामकारी मनसेना ඊට පස්සේ පොකට පැය භාගයක් විතර ඔය ඔක්කොම ගඩේ ගියෙන් පස්සේ මොකද කරන්නේ තණ්හාවට තවත් පාඩම් කරන එක නෙමෙයි කියලා පොඩක් නවත්වන්න ඕනේ නැහැ. නවත්තලා පොඩක් පොඩි රිලැක්සේෂන් එක අවිනාඩි 10ක් පාලා පොඩක් රිලැක්ස් වෙන්න ඕන. ඒ විනාඩි 10ක් පාලා රිලැක්ස් වෙන එක කාල නාස්තියක් නෙවෙයි. මොකද වෙන්නේ ඔහෙම නැත්තම් අපි නිදිමත හැදලා නිදාගෙන හරි එහෙම නැත්තම් එපා වෙලා මේක ඔහේ කරගෙන ගියාට ඔළුවට වැටෙන්න නැතුව හරි ඕන තරම් ඊට වඩා කාලේ සහ ශ්‍රමය නාස්ති වෙන්න පුළුවන්. ඒ හින්ද මොකද කරන්නේ අරක වෙනස් කරා අරක නැවැත්තුවා ඊට පස්සේ මේක පොඩ්ඩක් වෙනස් සබ්ජෙක්ට් එක අපි හිතමු ගණන් හදා හදා හිටියා නම් මොකද කරන්නේ සාහිත්‍යයට සම්බන්ධ මොනවා හරි දෙයක් කරනවා ඒ වගේ නැත්නම් මේ ස්ටඩික් වලට සම්බන්ධ දෙයක් කරනවා ඒ වගේ අර චුට්ටක් අර ෆීල් එක දෙක අර එකම දේ කරන්න නැතුව පොඩි වෙනස් දෙයක් අරගෙන ඊළඟට ආයෙ කරන එහෙම එහෙම සාමාන්‍යයෙන් දැන් ළමෙන්ට වුණත් මේක කියලා දෙන්න පාඩම් කරද්දි යාට කාලේ බෙදලා දෙන්න හරි පැය දෙක පැය දෙකක් උදේ වරු වේ නැත්තම් පැය දෙකක් හවස් වරේ ළමයි වුණත් පාඩම් කරනවා හොඳට මැති පැය හතරකට වඩා වාඩම් කරන්න බෑ ඇත්තටම කරන්න ඔය ළමයි කරන්නෙත් නැහැ ඒලෝල් කරන ළමයි කරන පැය හයක් විතර කරලාට ගමන් නැහැ ඔය කාලේ හොඳට මැති එන වයක් ගන්න ඕනෙම ළමයෙකුට ඔය විදිහට පැහැදිලිවම ඉගෙන ගත්තදී අපි මම ඉතින් ස්කෝලේදී 
धरवे मंगित ने उपमेक करना काटती है त्याती अरे तब मैं मामा किये पुविधि हट किये पुविधि है करना काटती है ना आदर दरना काटती है ना आदर हेलो हेलो कतार करना होने की मटवाला ओपन नहीं अंदर होने कतार करना होने वाला या वी मेक सम शॉर्ट नोट्स इन लाइक नॉर्मल वे लाइक इन माय प्रीवियस स्टडीज़ आल्सो आई हैव डन दैट in the universities they, they teach us how to do that like same you, you did sir so kind I of mean, yes is my method uh, parallel to that or uh, different yes sir it? yes sir it's kind of, it's old methodical sir everything same thing almost same. okay right so you may do it right now uh, uh, so uh, i am going to finish the first chapter now right so right uh, areas again right definitions uh, definitions of psychology then uh, psychology uh, i mean uh, branches of psychology the two main branches are there uh, psychology we can divide in two main branches as pure psychology and applied psychology then what comes under applied psycho pure pure psychology i have explained what comes under uh, <coughs> what comes under applied psychology we have discussed so then education psychology is one of those branches of applied psychology so we have discussed what so we have defined what what education psychology is and why it is important for us as teachers right then we have discussed the scope of educational psychology the functions of educational psychology as well as the uses of psychology uh, uh, uses what we call uh, uses of educational psychology and how uh, why it is important for us as teachers right so uh in addition to that right i explained how psychology developed from being a art subject or what we call uh, art in the sense uh, it was a kind of a philosophical subject earlier but how it uh, made a uh, transition from uh, from being a philosophical subject how it made you how it made a u turn and became science right uh, uh, who were instrumental right and how uh, the scientific features were brought into this right and uh, we have talked about wilhelm wundt the person who established the first laboratory and his ideas his uh, and his main uh, pupil tichner right and they are uh, together forming the school uh, structuralism then we discuss functionalism then we discuss behaviorism then we discuss uh, gestaltism then we discuss uh, psychoanalysis by uh, sigmund freud so uh, five main areas we have discussed and there are two three other areas but i did not want to touch upon that that was not in the syllabus also but these are the more, most important areas right then we are coming to the more, next most important session that is child development right so we are going to start child development now right so give me a few seconds uh, i am going to share share, share my uh, presentation with you
one minute uh, right okay i'm going to share now Okay, right. Uh, right. Uh, child development, we are going to discuss. Right. We'll see. Right. What is development? So, under child development, right, we are going to discuss right, the difference between the development and the growth. Uh, first, we'll see what is development. The changes in the various dimensions of one's personality are mainly of two types, qualitative and quantitative. The term growth is limited to the changes in the quantitative aspects such as increase in size, length, height and weight and expansion of vocabulary. It is confined to a certain period of time. Right now, do you understand right now, changes in various dimensions of one's personality, right? are divided into two types what are what, what and what qualitative changes and quantitative changes right, right. Uh, what are the areas that uh, changes can be divided into what are the two areas can you please tell me yeah qualitative and the quantitative very good uh, so the term growth is limited to the changes in the quantitative aspect such as increase in size length height, weight, and expansion of vocabulary. It is, confined, it is confined to a certain period of time. Now, what do you understand? Right. So what is growth? Growth is the quantitative changes. Growth is the quantitative changes. So uh, can you give me some examples for these uh, quantitative, uh, quantitative uh, changes? Some examples, please. Yes. Um, height, weight. Increase, increase in increase. size, length, height, weight. And also, uh, when it comes to language ability, right, expansion of vocabulary. Right. So this, it is confined to a certain period of time. Uh, these changes occur during a certain period of time. Right. This is the growth, right? Now, let's come to the term development. The development implies the overall changes occurring in both the qualitative as well as quantitative aspect. The development means what? Now, growth is only qualitative, uh, development, qualitative changes, but development, it's an umbrella term for all, right, what? Overall changes. Right, not only qualitative, but also quantitative, both aspects. 
it occurs right through man's life uh, whereas the growth was limited to a certain period right this the development occurs right throughout a man's life example right now growth now uh, uh, right now we, when we are about 21 22 uh, we have stopped growing right so that means we don't grow taller beyond that point that is that means our physical development is stopped so it was limited to a certain period of time but the changes of the body right now now although the height is uh, right uh, solid right it doesn't change but various other changes are, are taking place our muscles get strengthened or our muscles get weakened right right uh, likewise so many changes happens to our body right qualitative both qualitative and quantitative uh, now now qualitative means right now you develop a muscle uh, right it is quantitative but you define your muscle and it make, you make that muscle strong means what it is a qualitative development likewise the term development implies the overall changes occurring in both the qualitative as well as quantitative aspects it occurs right through a man's life span development as a comprehensive term it's a comprehensive term comprehensive means right uh, broad term right related to all types of changes can be employed to describe all dimensions of one's personality whether physical mental social moral or any other so we talk about physical growth but we might talk about the development of both i mean we may talk about physical development as well and when it comes to other areas like mental social moral right or emotional all these areas can be covered with very easily with the term development instead of mental growth you call, call it mental development social development moral development emotional development physical also development right but physical uh, growth also you could say right but for the other uh, aspects you have to use the term development so that we use for physical uh, physical development growth also we use the uh, term development here right now what is development there is a small uh, error right development right there should be a one p right in my presentation uh small error is there please correct it development d e v e l o p it should be right right uh so i prepared it uh, in a bit of a haste right so sorry for that right did you notice the mistake Hello. Yes, sir. Please correct it. I will correct it before before I share it. I will correct it and uh, share it. Right. I won't share it. Uh, share in the sense now I'm screen sharing, but I will share this with uh, share all these things with you. When I uh, share it, I will correct these mistakes and share. Right. Okay. Uh, so you get some idea about what is growth, what is development. Right. The child's development represents the interaction of heredity and environment. Right. Uh, for the development of a child. There is an interaction between heredity and environment, right? Okay, have you heard right now these two terms? Of course, environment you have heard. What is heredity? Yes? What is heredity? From, from huh? the genes of the parents. Very good, right? Now the factors, right, which are uh, endowed to us through our genes, right? Some of the, uh, right now, now, we are now we are a product of both heredity and environment right for us to be us right our heredity has played its role and our environment also has played its role right so we will discuss what it is in the right okay Right, so under child development, we are going to talk about these four aspects, physical development, cognitive development, social and moral development, and emotional development. Again, development here, uh, w, more W is there, please remove it. I can't do it here because this is the presentation mode. Next time, before sharing, I will make sure that uh, proper things are coming, right. So what are the areas we are going to deal with? Yes. Physical development. Physical development. 
what are the factors that affect affect our development heredity environment and balanced diet uh, heredity, uh, what are the factors affecting development all kinds of developments are affected by these three what heredity environment mm -hmm. and diet balanced diet means a good diet right right heredity Every human being is born as a result of conception which takes place due to certain biological factors and process. So conception uh, happens due to biological fact factors and a process. Right? We will discuss how it happens. Right? So every human being, uh, being is born like that. The child carries with himself several psychological and physiological peculiarities that are present in their in the parents in fact it is the heredity that determines the structure color of eyes complexion structure of the hair facial features nasal index etc of the child so what do the ch child does uh, the child carries with himself several physiological and psych uh, psychological pe peculiarities means specialities that are present in the parents uh, what are the uh, heredity determines uh, the, uh, heredity determines things the structure color of eyes complexion structure of the hair facial features nasal index and all these th kind of things are decided by our heredity even color of uh, complexion means the color of our uh, skin the genes of parents define the physical features of the children and decides the potential of a child. So what, is, what defines our physical features? Genes of parents. Different types of genes help in the formation of the body. Right? Uh, for our body to be formed, different kinds of genes help. We will discuss uh, them in, the, in detail. Heredity is passing on of traits from parents to their offspring. Uh, what passes these uh, features from their parents to uh, children is heredity. Heredity is responsible for all inborn traits, the instincts, emotions, IQ, reflex actions, and physical traits. Uh, so heredity is uh, quite responsible for our inborn traits means you know, our qualities uh, which we bring when we uh, from our birth and our instincts and our, our impulses and feelings and all that right and the emotions our iq level right and our reflex actions and our physical traits like as we explain uh, color of eyes color shape of uh, face shape of nose right things like that our height and all these things factors are decided by heredity right so since you are, you people wanted me to do some something in Sinhalese, I'm going to do that, uh, do, uh, do the part up to now in Sing, uh, Sinhalese, right? These three slides I'll get back and uh, do in Sinhalese, right? Then uh, child development, Lama Sangwardhane gana khata karati, right? Api Lama Sangwardhane kila kya na kya mukat? Sangwardhane sam Wardhane kya na dikhe yatra vena sati na growth kila kya na Wardhane. Yatra ma growth theka kila kya na mukat? Kodak kila wat api pramanaatma ka Wardhane agya na tamay growth theka na kata karani. Abe development kila kya na Sangwardhane me Sangwardhane theka kata karani wa pramanaatma ka Wardhane wagi ema gunaatma ka Wardhane kya na dikhe ma kya na qualitative and quantitative kya na dikhe ma api kata karani wa me development theka kya na Sangwardhane kya na kata karani. Physical development emotion cognitive development killer Cognitive Ilangatina uh, moral and social development. Samaj Saha uh Samajivardhani Ganakatakarano. 
धर्वे <laughs> शारीरिक बुद्धिवर्धने चार्यात्मक वर्धने जीन शैलोला शरीर स्वभाव स्ट्रक्चर मुखंडी <laughs> उपकार प्रमाण बुद्धिमें <laughs> ඒ වගේම ගොඩාක් බුද්ධිමත් දරුවෙකුට දරුවෙක් හිටියත් 
එයාට ඒ පරිසරයේ පරිසරයේ සාධක පරිසරයේ නිසි පරිසරයේ තිබෙන නැත්තම් එයාටත් අර එයාගේ පොටෙන්ෂල් එක තිබ්බට උපරිම මට්ටමට ළඟා වෙන්න බෑ පරිසරයෙන් ඒ අවශ්‍යතාවය සැපුරු වෙන්නේ නැත්නම් දැන් අපි හිතමු දැන් දරුවෙක් ඉන්නවා බොහොම තෝසක් පවුලක දීපෙදලා තියෙනවා එයාගේ අඩු අයිකු එකක් තියෙන දැන් එයාව දැන් තාරකා විද්‍යාඥ කරන දෙමෝපියන්ට අවශ්‍ය වෙනවා ඒ හින්දා කරන්න පුළුවන් සියලු පහසුකම් එයාට සපයනවා අධ්‍යාපනයේ එන්වයිරන්මන්ට් එක කියලා කියන්නේ අධ්‍යාපනයේ ලැබෙන පරිසරයනේ ඒ සියලු පරිසරයන් ඔයලක තියෙන හොඳම තැන් වලට යවනවා එහෙම කරත් එයාගේ බුද්ධි මට්ටම අඩු වෙනම් අර කියන මට්ටමට යන්න එයාට බෑ හැබැයි අපි හිතමු පොඩක් බුද්ධිමත් දරුවෙක් ඉන්නවා හැබැයි එයාට මේ අධ්‍යාපනයේ ලැබෙන අවස්ථාව ලැබුණ නැත්නම් එයාටත් අර කියන ඉහළ මට්ටමට එන්න හැකියාව ලැබෙන්නේ නැහැ එමනම් මොකද්ද අවශ්‍ය වෙන්නේ බුද්ධියක් තියෙන්න ඕනේ පරිසරයේ මේ දෙකම තිබ්බොත් තමයි අධ්‍යාපනයේ හොඳම ප්‍රතිඵල අපිට ලබා ගන්න පුළුවන් වෙන්නේ. ඒකෙන් අදහස් කරන්නේ නැහැ අර බුද්ධි මට්ටම අඩු කෙනෙකුට විභාග පාස් වෙන්න බෑ එහෙම නැත්නම් යම් මට්ටමකට යන්න බෑ කියන්නේ පුළුවන්. පරිසරයේ අනුව පරිසරයේ විශාල කැප කිරීමක් කරලා ඉතින් පරිසරයේ කියලා කියන්නේ ඇත්තටම අපි කියන්නේ අපි ගුරුවරු පාසල ගෙදර පරිසරයේ මේ දේවල් වලින් මේකත් එක්කලා කොච්චර මොට්ට ළමෙක් වුණත් සෑහෙන මට්ටමකට ගේන්න පුළුවන් කම තියෙනවා. to reach the uh, reach reach the uh, level of the potential is highest level of the potential is the environment psychologically an individual's environment is related to all those stimuli which he faces from the moment of fertilization till birth uh, so psychologically individuals a person's environment psychologically a person's uh, environment is Uh, related to all those stimuli stimuli which she faces from the moment of fertilization till birth the make yanne manovidyatmako gattahama kene pudgalege parisare kiyala kiyanne eya fertilize switch vela denna fertilize nai kiyala kiyanne api dannawa supranawak saha limbyak ekatu wenna tan inne fertilization ekak wenna मेरन का नैचुरल environment is responsible for the growth and development of the physical mental and social traits ah mokada kiyanne environment ekak responsible wenawa monata da for the growth and development of the physical mental and social traits ape sharirika lakshana manasika lakshana saha samaja lakshana me siyallata siyallama thirne karanne environment ekak igena api coach ape attaram ape hasirima thirne karanne ape genes walata wada uh environment the two factors heredity and environment are not opposed to each other then me godak ai na me dekka me heredity and environment kele gattama me wa ekata ekata viruddha dewal na athara me ekkinekata viruddha dewal ne me me deka dekata me sahayogiya dena sadaka deka gattama ide de 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 but they are complementary like seed and soil me kali dala පස සහ බීජ වගේ අතර සම්බන්ධයක් තියෙනවා. ඒ කියන්නේ අපි දන්නවනේ බීජ එක තමයි තියෙන්නේ මොකද්ද ඒ ඒ බීජෙන් දොඩම් පැලයක්ද අඹ පැලයක්ද කියන එක තීරණය වෙන්නේ සීඩ් එක අනුමනේ. හැබැයි 
එක හොඳට වැඩෙනවද නැද්ද කියන එක තීරණය වෙන්නේ සොයිල් එක. ඒක සීප් කියලා කියන්නේ uh so uh, when we come when we talk about this uh, this is the, the, it has a, right uh, what we call uh, very close relationship uh, between C, uh, between heredity and environment like seed and soil right the heredity is the raw material out of which the object to be prepared and the environment is the technique and other material for the manufacture meka hariyata the api isala kiwara atiya saha pasa wage kiyala eta tawathuta kiyana nam mena athuma heredity kiyala kiyanne nikan raw material amu drawbe etakota nimi e nimi e amu drawbe nimi baandyak nirmaniya karanna අවශ්‍ය කරන තාක්ෂණය සහ ඒ ෆැක්ටරි එකේ කරන එන්වයිරන්මන්ට් ඒ ඒ ඒ ඒ ක්‍රියාවලිය තමයි එන්වයිරන්මන්ට් එක කියලා කියන්නේ. නව් ඉස් ඉට් ක්ලියර් ටු යු වොට් ඉස් කෝල් වොට් ඉස් හෙරිඩිටි ඇන්ඩ් වොට් ඉස් එන්වයිරන්මන්ට්? හලෝ. යස් සර්. යස් සර්. ඔකේ. රයිට්. සෝ වී කම් ටු ස්ටේජස් ඔෆ් ෆිසිකල් ඩෙවලොප්මන්ට්. රයිට්. ෆස්ට් thing we are going to discuss is physical development it has stages uh, what are the stages prenatal stage infancy early childhood later childhood and adolescence right so you might ask me the question why don't why don't we talk about adulthood right because although it is part of right human uh, physical development it is also another stage <coughs> for us the educationist uh for uh educational psychology right that that part is not necessary because we are not going to deal with the adults learning because basically we are dealing with uh, children's learning right so learning also you can divide into two categories right right actually teaching adults and teaching uh, younger younger ones are two different areas right they right uh, so so we give them two different names one is called pedagogy the other the other is called andragogy our what is pedagogy what is pedagogy pedagogy is teaching young ones andragogy is teach, teaching older ones uh can you remember the two two terms what are the terms yes please tell me the terms that i mentioned now right now since we are the people who are in the field of education we we should be aware of these things what are these uh, two areas related to uh, teaching pedagogy pedagogical pedagogy and andragogy 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 pedagogy and andragogy uh, pedagogy is what pedagogy is what teaching teaching children teaching young ones yes younger andragogy one. is what teaching older teaching one. older one are they i mean do we how i mean can we follow the same techniques for both to teach no sir no uh, sir no because the, the the techniques we have to follow in andragogy are completely different from uh, different from the techniques we have to follow in pedagogy so we are not going to confuse them right now now we are going to uh, concentrate in on the major area we need to focus our attention on right that is andragogy right so in andragogy sorry pedagogy pedagogy yeah? sorry <laughs> andragogy is for the uh, adults so pedagogy in pedagogy we we don't have to we don't have to deal with the adult that is why Uh, i haven't mentioned that part in this so how many stages 1 2 3 4 5 what are the five stages here prenatal stage infancy early childhood late childhood and adolescence right now what is called prenatal stage what is prenatal stage yes what is prenatal you have to talk what is prenatal stage birth to 3 months like 
no earlier before the birth from conception up to birth is prenatal prenatal natal can ipadena kenawa da upata kiyana adahasata sambandha ekak wage etawata prenatal kena upatata kalin kale right etawata ape den api although we are uh, right measuring our age from the time of birth right we have to add one more year to our age why we had we have started our life even before our birth 10 or 9 months before our birth we started our life with where when it is 3 months for the for the uh, uh right uh, for, uh, from when it is 3 months from the uh, conception right we are a complete uh, being right right after 3 months we hear we hear we feel we feel hungry all that is there right our mind also start working our all other body functions start working right so that that is a very important area right we are going to discuss why it is important prenatal stage then the infancy means 0 to 2 infancy is what from the birth till 2 years old it is the infancy or toddlerhood then you get early childhood from 3 to 7 from uh, from uh, 8 to 11 late childhood and 12 onwards uh, until we uh, achieve adult life in 18 adolescence right these are very important areas what are the four area five areas there yes you may uh, uh, read them now what are the areas prenatal okay එතකොට ප්‍රීනේටල් කියන්නේ උපතට පෙර කාලේ ඉන්ෆන්සි කියන්නේ ලදරු විය අර්ලි චයිල්ඩ්හුඩ් කියලා කියන්නේ පෙර ලදරු විය පෙර පෙර ළමා විය ලේට චයිල්ඩ්හුඩ් කියන්නේ පසු ළමා විය සා ඇඩොල්සන්ස් කියන්නේ මොකද්ද බද්‍ර යෞවනේ ඇඩොල්සන්ස් කියන්නේ මොන කාලේද නව යෞවනේ නව යෞවනේ නැත්නම් බද්‍ර යෞවනේ රයිට් ප්‍රීනේටල් ස්ටේජ් ඉට් ඉස් ද පීරියඩ් ෆ්‍රොම් කන්සෙප්ෂන් ටු බර්ත් ඉට් ඉස් ද පීරියඩ් ඔෆ් හයස් ඩෙවලොප්මන්ට් ආ දැන් ඔන්න අපි ප්‍රශ්න අහන එකක් මේ Uh, during which period of stage during which stage the highest physical development take place koi kale did the highest development uh, physical development ekak wenne godak aya kiyenawa koi kale did kiyala adolescence kiyala kiyana adolescence ekak did godak wenas kan wenawa thamai habai vadima development ekak wenne koi kale did proportionately vadima development ekak wenne prenatal period ekak ede kiyanne ahata nopenena ithama kuda anchuwa kindang මාස 9ක් යනකොට කොහොමද සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අඩියක විතර අඩියකට ආව විතර දිගක ආසන්න වෙන ප්‍රමාණයකට වැඩීමක්. ඒ කියන්නේ සහයික අපි ගත්තාම අපි කියනවා සාපේක්ෂ වශයෙන් ගත්තාම අති විශාල දිව වර්ධනය. ඊට පස්සේ අඩිය විතර ඉඳන් අවුරුදු 18ක් විතර වෙනකොට මොකද වෙන්නේ පරිමෝණන් අඩි 6ක් ගිහිල්ලා ඇති 6 ගුණයක් වන 7 ගුණයක් වැඩිලා ඇති. නේ? හැබැයි අර අර ඇහැට පේන් නැති මට්ටමේ ඉඳන් අඩිය දක්වා සංවර්ධනයක් වුණා කියලා කියන්නේ ඒක ප්‍රමාණාතීත ඒක සාපේක්ෂ අති විශාල ඩෙවලොප්මන්ට්. ඒ ඉඳන් what is the period of the highest development you have to remember. right? ආයි පාඩම් කරන දෙයක් නැහැ මේක මතක තියෙන්න ඕන. මොකද පීරියඩ් එක? Hello. What is the period of highest development? Prenatal stage. Prenatal stage. Right. Okay. right. Now I'm going to uh, share you another slide show.
Hello, can you see this? Yes, sir. Oh. So development refers to learning and mastering skills in four categories, physical, emotional, mental, and uh, social we have discussed, right? Physical includes broad motor skills such as rolling over star. Motor skill, uh, physical development, we talk about motor skills. Motor skills skill, okay, now after class, they can be done. But the motor skills can challenge a key about. Okay, now, uh, uh, broad motor skills and soft skill, uh, soft motor skills, skill. Uh, Broad kill again, one of the role in over standing, walking, running, and sitting, as well as being able to maintain balance, change in positions, etc. Physical also into ethorapia. Uh, soft skills kill again, the angle you are they were flexing our uh, fingers, flexing our muscles, and fine more. They are called uh, motor skills, uh, broad motor skills kill. Uh, we talk about these things as gross motor skills and. Fine motor skills skill up China China and Apicot as they got a bit of it on a gross motor skills or the mind in the name of the animal the local challenge crawling novel standing walking running never give fine uh, fine motor skills or the mind angle willing uh, uh, Karana Pula angle challenge a Karana Pula angle willing a Karnasium bed and never give a fine motor skills kill a gun right so we will talk about these things later physical also include fingers and hands to clutch I thought I mean uh, it's my may using uh, fingers and hands using clutch, eat, draw with my fine motor skills. Can dress a bit button the unknown for the five chicken and what angle angle they can find motor skills. Creda work can put up they come gross motor and uh, fine motor they come in a while. They have a caram gun put an angle of chicken and any though they don't have fine motor skills. Leon put a fine motor skill like uh, uh, right. Emotional skills skill again. How she emotional skills skill again, another right? We'll see how a person reacts to events and occurrences around him or her. Uh, whether she uh, uh, he or she giggles or laugh at the silliest things, or or or, or is she or her distant. As she matures, does she learn to deal with events or does she get frustrated and angry? So emotional skills means controlling our emotions. Emotional de under de emotional development, we will discuss this. Mental or cognitive skills means into, it includes thinking, learning, understanding, problem solving, reasoning, and remembering. Much of it will be revealed in academic settings, such as preschool and beyond. Social skills means have to do with the personal interactions, developing and maintaining relationships with family, friends, and teachers. Cooperating and being sensitive while responding to others. So these are social skills, means how we interact with the other members of the society. We will discuss all these things in detail. So I'm not going to elaborate it. I'm not going to elaborate, right. So these are the things we were discussing now. Uh, early childhood, right? Uh, this is broad uh, definition, right? But uh, this early childhood, uh, right uh, here, uh, in early childhood, uh, toddlership, uh, toddlerhood also is included. But usually, early ch early childhood is from two to uh, eight years. Middle childhood, eight to twelve years. Adolescence, twelve to eight. The, the other part, of course, you you know, right? We'll see. Right. Early childhood. <coughs> Right now, uh, here we are going to talk about uh, uh, right. Uh, one minute. Right. 
During the first month of life, newborns exhibit automatic response to external stimuli. Api me my other prenatal stage ka muli makata karan na one matter. Right. Ma meten to gihila na magi me presentation ka walang poda. Me ke di kawa karan na. Ada yang ada di negatif. Mampir ni terlalu gilaan, na ngomong na. Ada yang tenis saya dikira anu. Uh, can you see me? Uh, can you see the presentation now? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, human life begins at conception. Uh, before that, we will come to uh, right prenatal period stage of prenatal period. Right. So conception, life, uh, human life begins at conception. 
conception is what the union of a male sperm shell and a female egg cell to form a new organism ha etakota api dannawa right mena metana thamai jeeviya ge aarambhaye patan ganne mokada wenne right a male sperm cell from the father joins a female cell uh, from uh, from uh, egg cell from the mother right right so it forms a new organism you know how this process happens right in the sexual act right uh, the man releases some sperm and it uh, he uh, releases thousands of sperms uh, into the vagina of the uh, female partner right uh, into into her fallopian tube right then what happens uh, in the, uh, inside the fallopian tube right one of the eggs now but <clears throat> the woman releases only one egg right that egg waits for the fertilization from one of these thousands of uh, sperms the strongest of the uh, sperms go and uh, break into this egg cell and it forms new organism and this union of these two single cells is called conception right after the uh, uh mute uh, now the join now when the uh, male sperm joins the female egg it, the, the process of joining it is known as mutation it's called mutation right so after the mutation what is created is zygote so uh this prenatal development we can divide into three areas called germinal period embryonic period and fetal period so a uh, germinal pe period is the first period <coughs> germinal period happens 2 weeks after conception it includes the creation of the zygote continued cell division and the attachment of the zygote to the uterian wall Uh, during the germinal period rapid cell division happens by the end of this stage the fertilized egg becomes a blast blastocyst and plant itself in the wall of the uterus uh, so the, how it happens here it is uh, shown in this uh, picture you can see right now right one uh, ovum from the ovary of the mother uh, releases right right and then what happens it is joined by uh, a sperm right then when it is joined fertilization happens day zero is called uh, after joining fertilized egg zygote uh, fertilized egg is called zygote right on the first day it has only one cell right first by the second day by the, it it divides in, into two cells this uh, divide the div uh, cell dividing into uh, parts is called uh, the cell division uh, there is scientific uh, name for this it is called uh, meiotism right so by the third day what happens right four cells are there right by the fourth day it becomes eight cells right then this division at, uh, increases right then uh, by uh, day 5 right what happens right more more cells are there uh, uh, by about 8 days there are about 100 cells so by by the 8 day what happens this uh, zygote gets attached to the fallopian wall you know the fallopian wall i mean to the tube of the wall so uh let's discuss uh one minute this uh, presentation is not that very clear right 
I will uh, send you a, a different one. I couldn't find it, locate it right now, right? Anyway, right. Uh, okay. Uh, under prenatal period, right? Uh, how many stages are we going to discuss? Hello? Yes? So there are five. No. Prenatal only three. No. These are right. Germinal period, embryonic period, then prenatal, uh, fetal period. Yeah. Right? So, right, uh, what comes in the uh, germinal period and what comes in the embryonic period and what comes in the fetal period, as well as, right, how this uh, mutation takes place, all that will be detail, will be explained in detail next day uh, with a very clear and vivid presentation, right? Uh, at the uh, at the moment i could not locate it but next day i will uh, i will share it uh, with you uh, before i start this so you can you have time to read and come uh, the presentation i did earlier also i will share right so before you come to the next day's lesson you will have to uh, read these two presentation uh, uh, presentations get some idea and come so that it would be very fruitful uh, for you to uh, contribute to uh, my discussion with your views api then ada katha kare ada etana api me lama sanwardhane gana katha kara eke moolika stages tika vitarai api katha kare api eka kiwu api kota satarakata me eke katha karanawa kiyala e kota satara monawada api isalama wardhane sa sanwardhane athara wenasa api katha kala ilangata me sanwardhane katha karana swarupa hatara monawada sharirika api kena physical development mental development or i can more cognitive can take my physical development cognitive development uh, social development and emotional development oh wait thamai api kadai social ekata moral kiyana ekat ekatu wena social and moral and emotional hari eda ekedi api katha kala physical development ekke api kiwa stages pahak thiyena kiyala kiwa mona dewa prenatal development ah ila api kiwa devani ekai tung ene ek early childhood सामान्य අපි දෙක අතක කියලා දාගමු මොකද ඒක early childhood ඊට පස්සේ 8 ඉඳන් 11 8 වෙනකල් මොකද late childhood ඊට පස්සේ 12 ඉඳන් ඔයා බහු වෙලා 12න් පස්සේ හැම ආදරණීය දෙයක් අපි ඔය ටික තමයි ඉගෙන ගත්තේ දැන් මේ මම අද prenatal development එක පටන් ගත්තේ ඒක මූලික ටික විතරයි කියුවා නමුත් මම ආයෙ මුල ඉඳන්ම ඒ lesson එකේ මුල ඉඳන්ම අලුත් presentation එකක් යනවා එතකොට मैं कहता हूँ चला पहले दिन अभी हिंदा पहले दिन ही प्रेजेंटेशन एक आप यार ने तो बड़ा बड़ा पहले दिन हुई वाला है हरे ये ना आप ही आधे टन आवाज़ तमु राइट पहले दिन में तो कर पार्टी के पहले दिन तो वाला था यस सर यस सर उन्होंने कहते हैं ना ना मटर क्या नहीं आता हमारे कहते हैं हेलो ना सर � you can always uh, you feel free to ask questions now one person ask a question likewise when you have doubts you can ask questions right ah uh, putta for your benefit uh, shall i share the notes uh, right a uh, uh, total set of notes under uh, this uh, pure, uh, uh, i mean fraud system of psychology kena i pitu hatak katak thiyena i ata hata ata man wala share kara nang etakota wala kiyawala प्रश्नोरी आदा हाण प्रश्न दिन आद
මේ තෙක් කරපුවා තේරෙන්න තේරෙන තේරෙනවා තියෙනවද any doubts up to now no sir no sir so i want you to some uh, make uh, make a summary of the things that we have studied up to now by next day hari e summary ekka right lassana ta karanna lassana cho lassana ta lassana summary ekak hada ganna oya summary ekak thamai api paadam karanna vibhagata lang vela api dan meke presentation samahata presentation 25th pidata e 25th balanna onne hari